Open it up. I thought this was so cute. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be taking you on the next few days in my life. If you watched my last video, I just got back in town. So, you know, we're getting our life together. We're spending time at home, getting lots of work done for school. I'm definitely in like the brunt. Is that a word, brunt? I don't know. I'm in like the middle of a lot of work for my semester, like midterm season coming up and all that. So definitely getting busy. So I wanted to take you all along on the next few days. If you're new here, make sure that you subscribe, join our little family that we have over here on my mini corner of the internet. I am a grad student. I love fashion, lifestyle, just kind of navigating my 20s with you guys. I actually just got the cutest PR package in the mail. So I wanted to show you all this because it is like so cute. Definitely the most personalized PR package I think I've gotten. This is definitely not sponsored, but they were very nice to send this, so I want to show you. So here's the package from Fanola. Open it up. I thought this was so cute. I literally gasped when I saw this. I was like, they printed out my photo. So let's take a look. Nice handwritten card. So sweet. Here is the brand. And let's take a look. I haven't even looked in here yet. So ooh. we have a restructuring hair mask. I told her I had dry ends. So this is going to be great. We have a restructuring spray mask leave-in. Love a good leave-in. And I'm getting low on my current leave-in. So we have the nourishing restructuring fluid serum. We have the restructuring shampoo and the no orange shampoo, which I could definitely use because my hair does get a little bit brassy. Thank you so much vanilla for sending that over i'm really excited to try your products and i will definitely keep you guys updated as i use them what i think because they are actually a really affordable line i noticed so hopefully they're good i am gonna put these away and just chill for a little bit and i'm about to head to class today it's my marketing class so i actually was bad and skipped class yesterday because i had just gotten in town and i was exhausted and i looked at the lecture and it was just straight up a lecture, like there was no work involved. So I was like, if I'm gonna skip a day, yesterday was the day to do it. I haven't missed any class this year at all. So fine, everyone does it. So just got to marketing about 20 minutes early. So I'm gonna walk to class. Hopefully have a pretty good night. It's gonna be a relatively chill week, I think, with class and stuff. I do have a presentation tomorrow, but it won't be as intense as my marketing one was. So, gotta mask up and head to class. Good morning, Baba. <gasps> good morning. It is Wednesday. We're halfway through the week, hump day and I am about to take Frank out, do our little morning routine, and get to grinding. You guys know I have another presentation tonight I haven't really worked on. This one's definitely not as intense at all, so I'm not as worried about it, but I still need to do it. So that is gonna be our focus as soon as I make coffee and get back inside from taking this one on his morning potty break. Slight change of plans. I went ahead and got ready for my day and I'm about to go on a long walk just to like get my brain ready to go. My friend is coming to meet me. We're gonna walk together, a little social hour, and then I feel like I'll be ready to get back here and grind. But I need to down this coffee though because I will not be human if I don't. Went on over an hour walk actually and now I'm back and I had a 1 p.m. meeting so Went ahead and did that, and then I finished my presentation that I have to present tonight for human resources, so that's good. I do think it's gonna be a little short, but honestly, I don't really care. I think it'll be fine. I still have a bunch of work to do, and I do have a couple hours, so I'm gonna get it done. I have to do a draft for a group project. That is gonna be my goal to do before class today. After today, though, y'all, I am on fall break pretty much. I mean, I have class tomorrow, but like I don't have any big assignments until Wednesday of next week, which is really nice. I'm definitely going to use my fall break to actually like do work and get ahead for sure, but it's nice that I have Monday, Tuesday off for fall break 
to kind of catch up i have been kind of behind on my job just because i have so many projects going on right now with school i am i'm like kind of craving like a yogurt or something so i think i'm gonna make something sweet for myself It was good, presentation went really well, so that's out of the way, feels good. I'm not feeling too hot, honestly. I'm really hoping I kick this by the morning. I think I'm just exhausted in general, and I'm like stressed with school, and I was traveling this weekend, I'm traveling this weekend. I think I'm just stressed out. My body is not reacting well. The only time I get sick is when I'm stressed. So, trying to combat it, this is emergency, and I took melatonin, I'm gonna try to get a good night's sleep tonight, except, I forgot that I have a work assignment due today that I didn't have time to do today because of my presentation. So I have to get that to her tonight. So I'm going to heat up my dinner, shower, and then work on that. And then I will go to bed as soon as I complete that. So it's a late night work night. Sometimes this happens. Usually if I don't show you guys after class, it's because I come home, go to bed. But sometimes work comes up, things come up. And that's what happens when you are behind. I look crazy because I just showered and self-tanned. It's getting a little pale, but dinner tonight is leftovers as always. You guys know I like to cook in bulk. So I've got some zucchini and some chicken that I cooked up and pork. And I am going to sit on my couch. I've got all my lights on in my place so that I don't get sleepy. I'm already sleepy, who am I kidding? And I've got to get this work assignment done so I can go to bed. almost 10 and I just finished my work assignment sometimes this is the reality of grad school and work is I mean I have literally been going all day long only thing I really got to do for myself today was take a long walk so not complaining because I feel super lucky to be so busy and to, like my life be so chaotic because it just means I have good things going for me but you know, I just, obviously you guys know I like to show realities of everything. So working till 10, I mean non-stop today between class, work, homework. So I'm exhausted, but just emailed my boss all those reports. So we're good to go for tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit more chill. As you can tell, it's definitely past our bedtime. We're usually in bed by nine or earlier. <laughs> So I'm gonna head that way and I will talk to you all in the morning. Morning. We love a fresh self tan, it's just a game changer. If I don't get in my workout now, it's not gonna happen. I haven't worked out all week and I've just been slacking. So when you're slacking, I suggest you take pre-workout. Let's go do a leg day before I get too tired. had the post workout shake i'm gonna try and get a workout tomorrow too before i am gone for the weekend again but i need to run to cvs i'm gonna get some wine i'm hanging out with one of my friends today after class and i think we're gonna drink wine so i'm gonna go get some wine it's already noon just having the first coffee of the day i'm about to hop on a meeting for school and i'm also just getting some reports done for work so pretty casual i feel like this vlog has been very boring a lot of people who i genuinely enjoy watching have been saying like oh their vlogs are boring and blah 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 and i feel the same way i don't know if it's just like the season or what but i'm not really shopping a lot i'm not really doing anything besides school and work right now so life is very mundane i feel like you guys like seeing that anyway but if you want me to stop vlogging the boring things definitely let me know because i can but i mean this is just real life right now sometimes life is boring sometimes life is exciting i'll show you guys something really exciting dried chicken franklin thinks it's very exciting you want some dry chicken? This is our life. Well, I just got all ready to go on a nice long walk and we got outside and it is 
pouring rain though so unfortunately that's not gonna happen today i don't think unless it slows down but i'm just gonna get some more work done before class all right i'm got ready for class today i don't know why i just had time and i was like feeling it I'm making a my second coffee of the day now because i'm going straight to my friends after this so i need to get wine so i've got a red and a white I feel like they're gonna get hot in my car, but there's nothing I can really do about it. But today is finance. Definitely not my favorite class. It's extremely boring. And on top of that, it's math. So like, and it's not boring because it's math. It's just a boring class. So let's head to finance. I have to present something in that class today too, but at least it's a group thing. So I don't have to worry about it too much. And I'm finally, after like grinding out today, feeling pretty caught up with everything so that definitely feels good class was good it was a long one though i'm freaking tired but i'm about to just go hang out like watch a movie chill okay hi it's editing krista here and i tried to vlog this past weekend for you guys in chapel hill for my alumni weekend but i failed pretty epically it was just so busy i was sharing a hotel room with like five of my friends so just didn't it wasn't the vibe to vlog but I did get a couple clips, so I kind of want to include them in here. Before I conclude the vlog, I'm going to throw in my clips from Chapel Hill because it was a good time either way, even though I barely got any footage. So I hope you guys enjoy that, and then we will finish off the vlog. If you don't know, I was UNC Chapel Hill class of 2020. We got cut off from COVID, didn't have graduation, didn't get to do like bar golf and all the fun senior things. So this weekend, they're having an alumni weekend and they gave all of UNC 2020 football tickets and we literally get to go and do all the senior things uh, like over a year later, but here we are. I haven't been back to Chapel Hill literally since I moved out since COVID, like especially for a weekend. I think I've gone for lunch or something, but this is a whole nother situation. I'm so freaking excited. Me and all my college roommates got a hotel together. So it's just gonna be like the reunitation of the century. That's not a word, but literally, I'm so freaking excited to see them. I'm excited to be in Chapel Hill. I'm excited to take you guys along to Chapel Hill because I didn't vlog in college. So you never saw my college life. So I'm excited to take you guys along. I'm actually picking up one of my friends right now. We are going to be riding together. It's run. So just got to my parents' house to drop off Franklin because they're going to be keeping him for me for the weekend while I'm in Chapel Hill, which is very kind of them. But they just moved into this new house like few days ago so it's kind of a wreck but it's beautiful I'm so excited to come like spend the holidays here and stuff like I said they're still unpacking everything but it's just stunning backyard has a amazing pool that's gonna be amazing for the summer so definitely super happy for them they kind of built their like retirement dream home and you're gonna be staying here for a few days buddy with grandma just left my parents dropped off Franklin so now I'm on the way to Chapel Hill so excited to see everybody and hopefully it is a good night but tonight's plan is bar golf so if you don't know what bar golf is basically you go around to the different bars so for us it's the, all the bars on Franklin Street and they have a scorecard and each drink is a different amount of points have a good time go around to all our favorite spots in Chapel Hill I'm headed to the hotel now to get ready Everyone else is like kind of ready and I'm clearly not. So I do feel slightly rushed, that's fine. I'll be there in about an hour and then we'll get ready and we will head to Franklin Street. I'm so excited, it's gonna feel so good to be there. Round one of Linda's, cheers. Round two of Carolina Pop. Hole three, we're on top of the hill. Hey, Waste a minute if I had you all to myself. We'd be walking in the moonlight, staying up to sunrise. Oh, yeah. I think you guys so much for being here even though this was probably a pretty chillaxed vlog i love you all so very much make sure to subscribe especially if you made it to the end and i will see you all so very soon in my next video bye guys